so <clears throat> i will be talking about a certain experience when i was working in a dsa and then follow it up with some experience in a corporate bank other than for a change icici <laughs> bank so i'll talk about some other bank and what happened there with me so <clears throat> you know when i was uh, working in a dsa after you know going and doing sales on my own i then got promoted as a trainer so <clears throat> what that role meant was that while i go and do my daily sales which is go and meet more than 30 40 clients in a day i am also training somebody who's coming in and joining as a new joinee so on this day i have a new joinee with me and uh, you know i'm on my sales call i'm doing my sales and this must be sometime in the afternoon that you know we are pitching pitching going meeting clients meeting clients meeting clients and then we had to walk a certain distance to you know be in a some more area with lot of uh, shops and offices so as we were walking on the side of the curb uh, on the side of the road was a mercedes which is parked so i have my new joinee with me and uh, i'm just talking with him that you know i wonder where is the owner otherwise we would have pitched to that uh, client as well and we couldn't see where possibly the owner of the mercedes was so we just looked at the car and then <clears throat> behind the car at little bit distance i saw there's a moped which is also parked and a man is standing behind that moped and talking on the phone so he didn't look like he would have much and uh, you know so i just told uh, this new joinee that go and pitch to him you know so do your practice pitch with this client so <laughs> you know i thought he wouldn't have much uh, documents and he didn't look like much that you know so he waited for uh, this client to get over the phone and then started to speak to him you know and talk about the product and the client heard him out for some time and uh, then he said i do have the document you need for this product the new joinee who was with me he says so then we can go on your moped and let's go and pick it up if it is at your office or you know close by at your place or something and that man said this moped is not mine so you know we just uh, were like now what to do because if we wanted to make a close we needed a certain document so we said uh, okay and then he kept walking from his moped towards he walked from the moped he was standing and talking at to his mercedes and he said this car is mine we can go in my car to our house to my house and we were very <laughs> delighted we were like in shock and we couldn't believe it and he said okay you know and uh, we both then went with the client to his house he showed us he gave us a tour of his house which was a very beautiful house and uh, then he spoke to us about how he made it big and he insisted on you know we have lunch with him and his family so <clears throat> i was very clear that we don't eat lunch see what happens is uh, whatever you do on the sales call is also what your new journey learns as well so if you start eating lunch your new journey will also then make it a habit of wanting to eat a lunch instead of you know some meeting some very good client or you know person who wants you to join him for lunch or something like that so we were very clear that we're not eating lunch so 
we took the document or you know whatever paperwork had to be done and it was a very surprising um you know sales call that we had now <clears throat> i worked with the dsa for maybe about uh, 3 years and i've trained i think not less than 700 people because you take everybody out every day on a daily basis you take someone out for a training or you know some such thing and that's the number of people i had trained and this is not just trained you also manage that many people so <clears throat> i was also handling a very big team then but you know dsas have a certain reputation and uh, not every uh, dsa is working like this the way in the dsa i worked in anyhow so you know after working there for many years when i quit and uh, i joined this uh, bank american express and believe me i have shared that experience with working with american express it was laden with frauds you know people would keep doing fraudulent uh, applications and it's just uh, a department in that they had to shut down and uh, sometime during when i am working in american express i went for an interview at kotak mahindra bank and uh, you know i um, i am waiting for the interview and after some time i do get called in and this person um you know senior person may not have been that senior he may have been middle management or something he uh, met me and uh, he said you know i have seen your resume and you have a lot of dsa experience i said yes sir and you know i'm very proud of my dsa experience we never miss sold we <clears throat> you know there was lot of culture control and if you met some people from that dsa you will know what is polish and cream versus you know when i worked with maybe lot of other organization corporates paying big salaries and when you speak to some of them you will feel they are from the slums or you know absolute shit pool so anyhow so this uh, middle management person who's taking my interview at kota mahindra bank he says uh, so i've seen your resume and it looks like uh, no so he says i've seen your resume and you have a lot of dsa experience i said yes sir he said if you had instead of 3 years of dsa experience if you had 3 years plus 1 year of this american express experience which is if you had 4 years of american Ex uh, express experience i would not even take your interview and i would directly give you an offer letter i said okay and he said but you have so much dsa experience and i didn't see anything wrong with it but i understand it now and after that he just kept quiet and he started uh, writing something on a file and then he started to take out a paper and he again started to do something with that piece of paper and so on 5 10 minutes went and uh, he is not said a word i said sir what about the interview and he looked at me and he said i won't be taking any interview it's a uh, you know i just give you the reason and i said oh okay i said okay sir thank you and i left the uh, for me then that interview was over <laughs>